In this vlog, we have a BMW 6 Series in for enhancement. It gets topped with our new ceramic wax. Plus, there's loads of other stuff going on around. And we start the AM Details interviews. You can check it out straight after this. Hey there, guys. I'm Alan, and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detail videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video. And we're still doing this 2018 catch-up series, guys. The 6 Series was a great week. It leads straight into the week before I shoot off to Barcelona. Lots of stuff happened. I don't know how we got it done, but you can follow this. It's a long one, but enjoy. Good morning. It is Monday the 2nd of April, and this week we have the 6 Series in for some handsome work and to get that roof protected. Let's go! So as the snow foam works on that one, I thought I'd give you a little update on this. It was in a few weeks ago, I was trying to vlog until this vlog. It's all filmed, I might still do a show style, where have I been type thing and update you on it. But this customer was in about two weeks ago for us to review this new purchase, the lovely 6 Series. And we found some defects in the bonnet around the paintwork and they weren't entirely happy with the roof. So I've already scrubbed the roof, done that first, and now as the foam's on, I'm gonna let you know what we found, some swirling, some buffer trailing in the bonnet and stuff. So we're gonna fire through the rest of this protection detail. Then once we're inside, I'll show you the defects it's in for enhancement and roof protection. Okay, so the time is now one o'clock. We have the six series in, up in the air. The ground is minging. So I'm gonna give this place a quick mop and a clean up and then I'll take you guys over for paint inspection. I've already done the roof and extracted it, but would you believe it? Notice when I extracted it on the way in, it looks like a couple of birds have went <clears throat> So, at some point today slash tomorrow, we're gonna have to give those areas a quick clean, check it all over and then we can start coating the roof tomorrow. Okay, the unit is sorted. I keep saying okay today. It's like, okay this, okay that, okay this. But anyway, <laughs> here's the paint mark. So as we can see, a lot of straight line marring in this bonnet. And then if we come this way, you can start to see coming in the buffer trails on this side where someone has been having a little machine session on this bonnet. It's quite prominent down here. You just follow these little lines here. Shing, 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 shing. Also comes on to the front bumper. So, this is the biggest panel on the car, and I want to get this one done first, so I'm going to tackle this one because it is so big, and even though I'm going to put towels down here, you're probably going to guarantee I'm going to lean on here, so I might induce my own sort of marring. So I want to make sure I tackle this roof, roof, bonnet, before I then do the sides. So I'm going to do the bonnet, then I'm going to do the sides in case of leaning on there. So, starting off, it's quite tough BMW paintwork, I'm going to go with Yellow pod, blue polish. See what happens. Okay, 
night and day. Much improved in this enhancement, but I do want to go a little further. Plus, I've still to wipe this down. I think we're gonna see a lot more come back. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is just some stuff in there. I'd much prefer to come out. So, let's upgrade this pad. Possibly go for a microfiber. So it is looking good. I just, I want to get better in the curves, which is a technique thing. You can just see there is some stuff still in there and the camera's not really picking it up, but there is still some bits in here. Now I know I might be in a bit picky, but if I can just get a bit of a better combination on this, once I start tackling the rest of the car, this flake is gonna look super, super nice. This side has come out a lot better and it's gonna look super sweet after refine. I just wanna show you and see if I can focus on what it is I'm chasing as I missed it before. Hopefully with this manual focus now, you should be able to pick up in this area, there is DA pigtailing from sand and machines. See those perfect flicks, like flick, 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 flick. So I'm having to chase those out, which need a little bit more than the yellow pad and the microfibers tackling them just fine. There's more of them down the sides here on both edges of the bonnet and in fact on the trailing edge here. So this is what we're chasing. <gasps> Let's go! Cars in the air, all tidied up. It was a little bit messy last week, so I wanted to make sure that this last hour, half hour, I got this place scrubbed up ready, so when we come to do things with this later, the unit is nice and clean. Outside is tomorrow's car. Let's go see. And it is a lovely SQ5 in tomorrow for our ceramic coating maintenance detail. Customers actually coated this themselves in Gion, we believe, so we're looking forward to getting this one prepped and a good look over to check how they're getting on. So now that that's in, I'm gonna quickly have this coffee, this wee cake, and get some letters done out to our wholesale guys to let them know what's happening in 2018. Good morning. It's the Tuesday, big shift day. Gotta do a cracking one on the six series and try and get as much machined as possible. As you guys know, I have Wednesdays off with Jacob. We've also got SQ5 in, which the gentlemen are gonna do a protection detail on today. But before they come in, let's machine. big problem we're gonna have with this car is this edge on the bonnet. It is full of machine sanding marks and defects. So, might have to break out the hybrid, down here with the 75. It's finally time to tackle the edges. happy with that. So it's took two hits with the yellow pad. I used the yellow pad just so I could get the flexibility of the foam that's in the yellow pad with the blue cotton compound. It's nice and tight into here. Really really like the finish we've got on that. So now I'm gonna go and do the exact same down this side and I'm gonna make my way down to this side of the car. But pressure washers going, the gents outside of the Q5. Let's check it out.
Digging my way down the driver's side of the BMW. Bonnet done and it is looking ting. Ah, sweet. But right here, you guys can see it, we have some paint overspray. Heavily clayed this, still can't get rid, so it's gonna come off with the machine polishing session. It's good. Much better. Ding! Time is now 20 past five. The Q5 is getting picked up at half past and it is finished. Mm. Looking lovely. Let's have a look. So as I said, for me, a Neon tonight, it's a late shift. I'm gonna be on the six series, and then we're gonna sort some admin stuff for all you guys. Wow, look at that hat here. I am getting bald. Oof, I need to stop stressing it. Good morning. It is the Thursday. We have that white Q5 in for the ceramic detail. I'm gonna be carrying on with the six series, doing some finishing bits, but this morning is the interviews for the detailing position. Whew, I'm a little nervous. Go three this morning and three tomorrow. is now half past 12. SQ5 is inside, all the decontamination done, the gents are just sorting the interior, the paintwork and the engine bay. All the machine work is done on the 6 series, it's time to wax it. The SQ5 customer has also requested we have a look at the gloss black, so we're just going to give these a quick tidy up. By no means an enhancement stage, but let's see what we can do. So the time is now quarter to four. As you guys know, my health has not been amazing. That's why these vlogs have been a bit slow and it's why there's just been a lot of nah going on here at AM Details. It's the throat that's been getting me this week. So I'm gonna shoot off now and get some rest because tomorrow there's quite a lot of me specific work that has to be done. Just whilst we're getting a new detailer in and getting ready to do training, I'm the only one that can still do machining and coatings here. So the gents are gonna look after finishing that G-Technic yearly and they're also gonna do all the protection detail elements that are basically left which is finish off the interior, do the rain on the windows and some final dusting bits on the BMW. Guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. Roll their B-roll of the Q5.
Good afternoon. It is now, what is that, 20 past 12. The throat is still absolutely killing me here at AM Details. We've done the three interviews for this morning and the gents have got the Ford Focus washed in its inside. So we're now going to have a look at the front bumper machine and coat it as part of the damage repair plus finish the BMW. In the bay now, <laughs> excuse me, this throat is really hurting, and we have got the Focus in the air. So we're now just going to assess this front bumper as you can see. We've got some sand and marks in the front here and also some rather heavy swirling in the top bit here so it's a bit difficult for me to do it with the white paint but it's time to now machine all this and then get it coated bumper on the RS complete. We've also received another bumper that I'm going to do over the weekend or Monday for a body shop to get sent away for a G-Technic accredited car. And BMW is ready to display. I think there's literally just some interior bits to do and finish off the glass. But for you guys on YouTube, because I'm scooting away, let's show you around. Even though I'm going to scoot away home, they're going to do some B-roll of the Focus. There might be some finished stuff for the BMW and then I'm going to come in on Sunday and I'll take you guys with me in this vlog and show you that bumper and how I coat it. So you're going to get a couple of little tips at the end of this one. I'll see you in two. So here's the bumper. I'm going to let you know it's actually Monday and on Sunday I didn't do anything with it because, well, can you see an issue if I tried to machine this? Yes, it's quite flimsy. So I did a lot of paperwork on Sunday and me and Eon are gonna tackle this today, which is Monday, but this is not this week's vlog. So I'm, yeah. So this is it then, <laughs> the end of the week. Next week, I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen because I'm in work and then I make the journey away to Barcelona. I've been thinking a lot recently, I haven't even said this to Dan or anything yet, that potentially I need to start thinking about these as daily vlogs again, and that's what we piece together, and if it becomes enough content then we might go individual again or I need to refocus and finally get these how to's and training videos for you guys done and then these might slow down a little bit just with the staff changing everything going on interviews and us not having a fixed media person we're all doing our best to focus on each social media channel and then at me getting pulled pillar to post I either am going to commit and take you guys with me and do more a daily focused weekly thing and it'll be longer like they used to be about 45 minutes long but you will see everything and I decide to just rip the layer off of secrecy and show you everything or I go down the how-to route and it gives me that little cover so that I can work on these brand and things without showing you them all initially and then I can eventually reveal them as a big hello. I'm not entirely sure this year has been a funny one for me in vlogging I quite liked the initial vlogs it was very raw and I just told you everything as it was coming and by the next week you knew it. Whereas this year there was so much going on I couldn't tell you with the new unit, the rebrand that I still haven't shown you guys officially yet and all the other stuff going on. It was becoming more complicated for me to think about what can I show you and what can't. And not that it wasn't natural normal me but I was having to think a lot before picking up the camera and for me that wasn't the stylist vlog. This vlog was just meant to be pick up the camera, shoot, and you guys see exactly what I see for a day. So who knows what direction this is going to go in. Hopefully soon I may do a Casey nice that style. This is the new way my vlogs are going to be video and I'll keep you all up to date. Next week is going to be super fun or that's actually today but anyway next week which is going to be sorting out that bumper. We have a file it in 
Tuesday I've got second interviews with the new potential staff members, Wednesday of Jacob, then Thursday you guys come with me every day, it's going to be a daily vlog style trip to Barcelona to go and support Pet Solberg and the team at PSRX and then I fly from there straight into Birmingham, go and meet up with a load of detailers on the Sunday, we have the Rupes seminar on the Monday, Monday night I'll be more hanging out with details. I hope to get loads of interviews and chats for you guys on here. And then Tuesday, I head home straight into an AMD night shift. Woo! I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.